Hi, and welcome to Access Arts, a show produced by students here at the New School in Albany, New York. I'm your host, Justin Halstead. I'm also an instructor here at the school. And today, we're talking about Master and Apprentice, the final lesson. It's an action short created by students in the multimedia and advanced production course. And right now, I'm joined by Adam Grogan, local martial arts expert and co-star to me in the film. Adam, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Now, before we talk about Master and Apprentice, tell me a little bit about your background and some of your influences and what you do. So I'm a martial artist. I've been doing martial arts now for about 25 years. Started out um, with some karate experience. Uh, the majority of my years has been spent working on Taekwondo. A little Kung Fu, Wushu, Wing Chun, uh, a little Combat Hop Keto mixed in there. And I also do extreme martial arts, which is kind of like an acrobatic, less practical style of martial arts, more based around performance. Um, the ironic thing about just working with you guys is that besides being a martial artist, I've always been fascinated and enthused about just the, the acting side of it, the fight sequences. When I was a little kid, I was filming little action sequences in my backyard and stuff. So it's been really exciting to take my martial arts experience and that little play that I used to have and take it to a more professional level with you guys. Now you're a fifth degree black belt and you also own a school locally. Um, what is that like? So yeah, I own Pilsung Martial Arts. It's a school that offers a lot of different styles of martial arts, similar to my own background. I feel it's a good educational opportunity for, uh, for students that are learning martial arts. We teach uh, Taekwondo, some other styles, and also extreme martial arts. I'm the only school that teaches that. Um, it's the acrobatic style, a lot less pr practical, not really stuff you'd use on the street, but more high-level performance stuff, and a lot of the stuff that you're seeing in movies these days and stunt work with the acrobatics and the performance things. So I mean, that's a lot of fun. It's my passion. It's what I do. Now, can you tell everyone watching how we got involved the first time? Because this is not the first project uh, the school and Pilsung has have teamed up on. Right, right. I actually responded to an ad you guys placed when you were looking for action actors uh, for your first project that we did. And I was lucky enough that uh, I got to meet you guys. You must have liked what I had to offer and made me not only an actor, but a producer of the last project. You were really able to let me bring my whole team on. I had run a team called Team Pilsung, which is all um, very high level performance style martial artists that travel across the nation doing performances and competition. So we were able to use my entire crew as, as our whole cast of the production. And then I was able to help produce it. So I was really lucky to have met you guys. It's been a great experience. Now that project became the formula. Yes. Uh, which was, the running time was a little bit longer than this one. This one's a little bit shorter. Uh, a little bit more demands production wise. Uh, we had some long shoots on that. This one was a little bit faster. Now, that one was for a uh, different class. This, this project was for our multimedia class, mm -hmm. and we shot it in four hours. Yes, which um, was very pleasant compared yeah. to the this 90 plus hours we probably put in shooting street on that last project. Um, but no less of a, of a quality product, and uh, the students really get a lot out of something like this because it really takes everything they've learned and takes it to a high level. They get to kind of get out and work with someone new. And See, I, I don't feel like the student is the, right, is the right title for them. I mean, yes, they're learning from you, they're enrolled in the class, but I mean, they're mature adults that, you know, conduct themselves like professionals. If you had anybody else standing around there, I didn't know that you guys were a student, you know, crew, everybody think it's a professional production crew. I mean, everybody knows what they're doing. They know where they need to be, when. They know how to conduct themselves, and everybody does a great job. I would have no idea that it was a student crew and not a professional crew unless somebody told me. I mean, it, it's fantastic, and it shows how much they must prepare behind the scenes, in the classroom, before they come out to the shoot. Great. Well, thank you again. And now it's my pleasure to present Master and Apprentice. You're going to see a few different versions. All the students cut their own version of it together. And when we come back, we'll be joined by two of the students who helped produce the film. After that, we'll show you one more version, a sort of special edition version. So Master and Apprentice, I hope you enjoy it.
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the student versions of Master and Apprentice, the final lesson. I'm joined here now by two of the students who helped produce the film. We have Adam Jakes and Will Curry. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. For being here, coming out from behind the camera to join us to talk about the short today. First of all, let me ask you, where's the, where did the title come from? Uh, it's something that we just kind of came together and about three different ideas kind of mashed together, basically. You know, uh, you know, we had a couple of different ideas. One was difficult to injure and the that was just kind effect. of a joke, the action effect, you know. Just something to give it a little bit of a, a yeah, it gives what a could little be backstory, a background, yeah. you know. Yeah. Taking an in-class activity and, and giving it a backstory a little bit more. So uh, both Will and Adam have gone through our TV production course here at the new school. And Will, you've gone through the music video course as yes. well. Now we're just finishing out the multimedia and advanced production, taught by myself and also Steve Anderson. And this was kind of our last hurrah, our last big project. We're doing some other things now, but just tell us, you know, what was the experience like doing something like this? Yeah, it was almost like a dream come true. I mean, really had a chance to take everything that we've learned from the course so far and bring it all together into one, you know, one thing. And it, I think it came out great. I had a blast working on this project more than anything that we've done previous. Will? Yeah, dream come true. I mean, growing up, this is something I always dreamed of getting into, watching action films and stuff like that, and growing up like in Kung Fu and stuff like that. So it was a, a great life experience for me. Yeah, me too, because I always wanted to be a stuntman when I was a kid. Uh, and getting kicked in the face and the chest by a fifth degree black belt was a big thrill. So, um, you know, we've done a lot of commercials and PSAs and corporate videos, but for the students, this was really kind of raising the bar a little bit. And I know for you, especially Adam, you're the director of photography, so you were behind the camera. You really had to kind of raise the bar cinematically on stuff you had done previous. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the project called for a variety of different camera techniques, and, uh, you know, I'm not usually the strongest when it comes to shooting handheld, you know, shots like that, but, uh, you know, you know, stepped up my game a little bit and we got it done, it came out great. Well, your steady cam work, especially in the beginning there, my favorite shot of the film, um, when I'm coming around the van and I just look so cool unloading that gun, look way cooler than I am in real life, everyone should understand that, you know, movie magic. Uh, that steady cam work was really smooth. Uh, that was Adam with uh, not what you would not your traditional cinematic steady cam, but kind of a you know uh, more like lower grade, but you can't tell on the shot. You really can't. It's not chest mounted or anything. It's just a good good balance and good operation. So great job with that Thank shot. Uh, Will, I know one of the things you really wanted to do when you came into the course was After Effects, which yes. was a big part of the post production. And some people might not realize how much work really goes into something like this. It's short, but there's a lot of work behind it. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, initially, because the guns aren't real and they don't have blanks or anything in them, it's a tough challenge to make it look real. So we started out with um, muzzle flashes, uh, debris hits, powder hits, and optical flares to create the illusion when the gun goes off to make it really look like real guns. So. And the cool thing is that everyone kind of had their own different color schemes, too. Yes. If you look at the raw footage compared to what came out, um, a lot of work goes into the color to kind of give it a certain feel. And you yeah. can see there's a wide variety there. But another thing is what we did is we went out and recorded a lot of the sounds, uh, like footfalls and punches and kicks. And, yeah. and the students had to layer all that stuff in, so a lot of work goes into it. More than you thought? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, we spent about two weeks working on this just for the post-production. Uh, yeah, a lot of work goes in it. It's a little bit tedious, but it's a lot of fun, too. Well, great, guys. Great job on the short and all the students. Fantastic job. It's been a pleasure, and uh, I have no doubt that you guys will be successful. Uh, I'm going to leave you now with one last version of Master and Apprentice uh, done by Micah Miranda, kind of a different take on, on the thing. So if you want to learn more about the course or any of the courses we offer here at the New School, go check out newschool.us. We'll see you next time.
Thank <laughs> you.